Hello everyone. My name is Satya Narayan and today we are going to understand all about vocabulary. So, do you know what is the meaning of the word somnambulist? Well, if you already know the meaning of the word, excellent. You do have a decent vocabulary. However, if you are clueless as to what it could mean, here's a trick on how we can analyze it. Let's split the word and check whether we can understand the meaning of the individual parts. Somnambulist is split as som, amble and ist. Now, for the ist part, if you take a look at words like cyclist, pianist, physicist, a cyclist is a person who cycles, a pianist is a person who plays the piano and a physicist is a person related with physics. So, somnambulist is a word which depicts a person. Well, the word amble comes in ambulance and amble, which means to walk around. An ambulance is basically a vehicle which helps patients who cannot walk by themselves to move from one place to another. So we have amble, which means to walk around. The word som, as in insomnia. Insomnia, as you must know, is the condition of sleeplessness. So som means sleep. Now putting together the different parts, we get the meaning of the word somnambulist is a person who walks in sleep. Similarly, can we try to analyze the meaning of the word circumambulation? Well, circum or circa, as in circle, circumference, circumnavigate, is to go around. And ambulation, as in amble or amble, is to walk. So circumambulation obviously would mean to walk around in a circle. Now let us take a look at certain common prefixes, suffixes and word roots. The word a or an when prefixed before a word could mean not or without. So abyss is without bottom, achromatic is without color and anhydrous is without water. A, ab or amps is from, away or off. So abduct is to carry away by force. Abnormal is that which is away from normal. Absent is a person who is away, not present. Ambi or amphi could mean both, on both sides or around. So ambidextrous is able to use both hands equally. Ambiguous is something which has more than one meaning. Ami or amo is love. So amiable is friendly, pleasant or lovable. Amity is friendly and peaceful. Amorous is showing romantic love. Remember the song T Amo. So now we know what Amo means in that. Anna is up, back, against, again or throughout. So analysis is a close examination of something. Anatomy is the structure of something as visible when cut up for analysis. Anachronism is not being in the right place in time. Here we also understand that chronos means time. And or andro is man or male. So androgynous is being both male and female. Where andro is man or gyno is for female. Android is resembling a human. Remember the logo for Android as used in smartphones. Miss Andre is hatred towards men. So hatred towards women would be misogyny. An or N is year. So anniversary is a date observed once a year as in marriage anniversary, birth anniversary. Annual is happening once a year. Millennium. Mill is 1000. So millennium is a thousand years. Anti is against or opposite of. So antibody, a substance that destroys microorganisms. Antiseptic, preventing infection or sepsis. Antisocial, opposing social norm. Ac or aqua is water. So aquarium is a water container for fish. Aquatic is relating to water. Aqueduct is a pipeline for water. And remember that age-old instrument used for purification of water, aqua pura. Bene means good or well. So benefactor 
is a person who gives money to a cause. Beneficial is producing a good effect. Benevolent is showing kindness or goodwill. The opposite of bene is mal. So benefactor, malfactor. Beneficial, maleficial. Benevolent, malevolent. Buy or bin is two, twice, once in every two. So biannual is something which happens twice a year. Binoculars. Ocul is related to the eye. So a binocular is an optical device with two lenses. Bilateral, of or involving two sides. Bio is life or living matter. So biography, graph means to write. So biography is a life story written by another person. Biology, logos means the study or science of. So biology is the science of life. Biosphere, the earth surface inhabited by living things. Carn or carnal is related to the flesh or meat. So carnivorous, vor means to eat. So carnivorous is flesh eating. Carnal is pertaining to the body or flesh as in carnal desires, bodily desires. Incarnate, given bodily form. Seed or cess means to go or eel. So exceed is to go beyond the limits. Recede is to go back. Accessible, that which can easily be approached. Chrome, chromo, chromato, cross are all related to color or pigments. So achromatic is without color. Chromium is a blue-white metallic chemical element. Chromatics is the study of color. Chron or chronom is time. So chronic is something which lasts for a long time. Chronological is arranged events in timely order. Synchronize. Syn means the same. So synchronize means happening at the same time. Co is with, together or joined. So co-author is a writer who collaborates with another author. Co-education is educating males and females together. Co-housing is planning your neighborhood in an intentional neighborly fashion. Cog or cogni is to know. So cognition is the process of understanding, knowing or acquiring knowledge. Incognito is disguised so as no one would recognize the person. Recognize is to discover that one knows. Con means with or jointly. So concur is to agree with someone. Contemporary is of the same time period as others. Convention is a gathering of people with a common interest. Cred is belief. So credence is belief that something is true or valid. Credulous is believing things too easily or gullible. Incredible is something which is unbelievable. D means to reduce, away, down or remove. So decelerate is to slow down. Dethrone is to remove from power. Debug is to remove bugs. Deck or deca is a prefix which means 10. So decade is a span of 10 years. Decathlon is an athletic contest that includes 10 disciplines in which each participant competes. December, formerly the 10th month of the Roman calendar. Deci or one tenth. So deciliter is one tenth of a liter. Decimate is to reduce numbers dramatically. Decibel is one tenth of the sound volume unit bell. Dem or demo is people. So democracy is garment of the people. Demographic is study of people. Epidemic is spreading among people living in a particular region. Die or diplo is two or twice. So dichromatic is displaying two colors. Diploma is a certificate and it literally means a letter folded double. Dilemma is a situation that requires a choice between two alternatives. Die or dis is a part, a way, not or to the opposite. So we have words like digression which is a departure from the main issue. Disappear 
to move out of sight, dissect, to cut apart piece by piece. Dict means to speak. So contradict, contra is against. So contradict is to express the opposite of something. Prediction. Pre means before. So prediction is a statement foretelling the future. Dictate is to speak out loud for another person to write down. E is as equal or equally. Equidistant is an equal distance from two points. Equanimity is a calm temperament or evenness of temper. Equation is a statement of equality. Extra or extra means outside or beyond. So extraordinary is beyond the ordinary. Extraterrestrial is outside the earth. An extrovert is an outgoing person. Fib is fate. So confide is to place trust or faith in someone. Fidelity is faithfulness. Fiduciary is a trustee. For means in front of, previous or earlier. So forbear is an ancestor. To forebode is to give an advance warning of something bad. And forecast is a preview of events which are to be. Geo means the earth, soil or global. So geography is the study of the earth's surface. Geology is the study of the structure of the earth. Geoponics is soil based agriculture. Graphy means writing, recording or written. So graphology is the study or the science of handwriting. Autograph is written with one's own hand. And seismograph is a machine which notes the strength and duration of earthquakes. Gyne, gyno or gyne is pertaining to female. So gynecology is the science of female reproductive health. Gynophobia is the fear of women. Here a special note, the word phobia means fear. Gynecoid is resembling a woman. Remember we had the word android resembling a man. Hetero means different or other. So heterogeneous is made up of unrelated parts. Heteronyms are words having the same spelling, however different meanings. And heterodox means not conforming to traditional beliefs. Homo or homeo means alike or the same. So homogeneous is of the same nature or kind. Homonym is sounding alike. Homeopath is a therapy that is based on treating the same with the same. Hyd or hydro means liquid or water. So hydrate is to add water to something. Hydrophobia is the fear of water. And hydroponics is growing plant in liquid nutrient solution. If hydrate means to add water to something, dehydrate would mean to remove water from something. Hydraulic is something operated by force created with the help of a liquid. Hyper is too much excessive or beyond. So hyperactive means very restless. Hypercritical is extremely or excessively critical. Hypertension is having tension which is above regular or above normal pressure. Hype or hypo is the opposite of hyper and means under or less than. So hypoglycemia is an abnormally low level of sugar in the blood. Hypothermia is abnormally low body temperature. Remember therm means heat or temperature. Hypothesis is a theory that is unproven but used under the assumption that it is true. Inter means between, among or jointly. So international means involving two or more countries. Intersection is a place where roads come together. Intercept means to stop or interrupt the course of. Intra or intro means within or inside. So intrastate is existing in one state. Intravenous is inside or into a vein. Introvert is a shy person who keeps within himself or herself. Iso means equal. So isobar is a line on a map connecting points of equal barometric pressure. Isometric is having equality of measurement. Isothermal is having equal or constant temperature. 
Jude is law. So judgment is a decision of the court of law. Judicial, having to do with judges or courts of law. Judiciary, a system of courts of law. Log or logo is word, doctrine or discourse. So logic is correct words or correct reasoning. Monologue, a long speech by one speaker. Remember, mono means one, bi is two, tri is three, tetra is four and so on. Analogy, a similarity especially between things which are otherwise dissimilar. Look or lock is to speak. So eloquent is a person who can speak beautifully and forcefully. Lacacious means very talkative. Elocution is the art of public speaking. Mania is madness or excessive desire for something. So bibliomania. Biblio means books and hence bibliomania is a crazy love for books. Egomania is a mad love for oneself. A maniac is an insane person. Mort is death. Remember Voldemort, he who must not be named from the Harry Potter series? Well, immortal means living forever or unable to die. Mortal is one who is certain to die. Mortician is an undertaker or the person who takes care of people after death, before their burial. Neo is new or recent. So neoclassic is a revival of classic form. Neocolonialism is the indirect economical and political control of a region by a more powerful foreign power. Neonatal is a newborn child, especially the first few weeks. Norm or nomen is to name. So misnomer is an error in naming a person or thing. Nominal is something which is a name only but not in reality. And nominate is to name for election or appointment or to designate. Pan means all, any or everyone. So panacea is a cure for all diseases or problems. Panorama is an all-around view. And pantheism is the worship of all gods. So a lot of time people say Pan India, which means everybody or everywhere in India. Pandemic means affecting all. Para means protection from. So parachute is that which gives you protection from falling. Parasol is the umbrella which is used to protect from the sun. Here sol is sun. Remember we say solar. Poly is city. So metropolis is a large city. Police is the people who work for the government to maintain order in a city. Politics means actions of a government or political party. Poly with a Y means many or more than one. So polychrome means with many colors. Polyglot is a person fluent in many languages. Polygon is a shape with three or more straight sides. Post means after or behind. So posthumous is after someone's death. Postpone means to delay something. Now remember, the opposite of postpone is not prepone but to advance. Postscript is an addition to an already completed document. Pre means earlier, before or in front of. So preamble is a part which is in front of a formal document. Prepare is to get ready in advance. Prediction is a statement foretelling the future. Pro means before, in front of, for or forward. So prognosis is a prediction of what will happen. Prologue is a passage before the main part. Prophet is a person who foretells the future. Psi means to know. So conscience is the sense of knowing right from wrong. Conscious is awake and knowing what is happening around. Omniscient means knowing everything. Where or world is truth. So veracious means truthful. Veracity is the truth. Verify is to make sure that something is true. Now, here is an exercise which will help you improve your knowledge of words. How many words or four letters or more can you make from the letters in the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Now this word was coined for a popular movie called Mary Poppins. 
in the past few minutes we have seen what exactly are word roots how they can be used as a prefix a suffix or a mid part of a word and how we can go around analyzing them now while it is not possible for you to memorize the list of words if you learn roots you can always understand how to use them in conjunction with other words and to create words of your own you can also learn how to dissect and analyze the word meaning of new words which come across you i hope this has been a useful session practice learning word roots and their use regularly and your vocabulary should definitely improve a lot my name is satyanarayan this was a session on word roots in vocabulary wish you all the best have a good day